Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to Eastward. It's been a while since I played this. I stopped this initially because I wanted to play, was it Pikmin 1? Maybe it was that or when I wanted to start Wind Waker. I don't know, but I'm back at it. I wanted to at least make a little bit of effort and progress into this series and maybe some older ones that I think need a little bit of TLC. So let's go ahead and do that today. We're going to play the rest of, I think, the dungeon that we started. Let's go ahead and inspect these posters. They look a little suspicious. Oh, who is this? Did this person just walk through the wall? Touch your baby. That is a piece of paper, my friend. Jasper. Good question. Who are you? This game kind of reminds me of Mother 3. For those of you that have played it, it's the sequel to Earthbound. The characters in that game that they introduce are very random. And it just seems like there's no real context for them sometimes. That's how this feels. Yeah, the one-man show, of course. Duh. Jasper's a bit of a thespian. Able to walk through walls as well. Pretty incredible. Sam is fairly confused, as she should be. Jasper, are you also in jail? I just love the literalness of, of the dialogue they give Sam sometimes. She's like, what? Clearly, he's referring to a promotional poster. But Sam doesn't know what any of that is. But she knows what Earthborn is. Seems like Jasper is an actor potentially in a stage play of Earthborn. It's her favorite. Clearly this takes place in some universe that uses imperial measurements. A thousand pounds? Is this in America? Future apocalyptic America, like 10 years from now? <gasps> Our friends have come to rescue us? Guys, it's us, help! I don't really feel like there's much they can do, though, unless they can pry steel bars off doors. Is it a present? A lucky coin. Perfect time for that. What better way to... Keep your morale high in jail than a lucky coin. That's what you, okay. Captain Tiger. Oh. Well, maybe it is lucky after all. It appears that shed some light on the situation. Sorry about that, Jasper, but we might find ourselves a way out. Whoa! Seems this jail cell wasn't quite so secure after all. John, let's get the H out of here! That's what... Okay. What is this coin? The lucky coin. Thanks, guys. 
Daniel, what a what a pal. But this lets us access the other half of the underground tunnel. Jasper, you are not coming. This is no room for a party of three. Interesting. Use your Night Stalker to block it out? I'm not sure what that means. That's right. Sam's like, well, we could be in danger or we could explore. All right, let's go ahead and save. Words of wisdom from appliances, of course. That's a hard save, but the game, of course, will auto save. I don't know if we need to cook anything. If we even have space in our pack for food. I don't even know how to access anything. All right, so what did that show? Hold on. We still have a hot dog and a bomb pack. We don't have the ability to really carry anything else, I don't think. Um, so I guess if you wanted to cook something else, you can? All right. But now that we're back, we can engage in some more combats. Potato! I don't know if we fought these before. These look like weird turd snails. And an A, okay. We're gonna be doing a little bit of puzzle solving today. Ooh. This is spicy. This is once again, kind of like the tutorial area of um, progress, I guess. Did I push this up enough? I don't think I did. Whoop, there you go. Let's see how well you can solve puzzles. This game is so tricky. It has been a long time since I played this. Uh-oh. I guess we're gonna have to split up. All right. Not really, um, but you know, this is when you'll get your first taste of intermittent use of Sam and of John. You know, Sam is good for stunning enemies. As you can see here, you can use her telekinesis to temporarily put the baddies to rest. And then you can use John to whack him off. So try that. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where that goes yet. That looks like that is impassable. That might be the way that we come back. Can I fit that through there? Where does the, okay. What is the point of this? I'm. Okay. Uh. Well. Maybe I need to do this again? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I see. Can I pull you down? Ah. Now we're using our noggin. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. My brain's a little steamy. That crate will block it. Pop, pop lock and drop it. Nice. Or the, oop, that's the wrong button. The attack button in this game is Y, and I am not used to that. We gotta get good viewers. The key, we did it. 
Wow, what a tough puzzle. I say that as I fumble through it for a couple of minutes. Yeah, this isn't so bad. I haven't beaten this game, obviously, but oh, I shouldn't say obviously. I don't know why you would know that. I have not beaten this game. And some of the later subsections of this game are pretty frustrating. So we'll be thankful for now that things aren't quite so cumbersome because they will be. You best believe it. All right, so far so good. Not a bad idea to stun these guys at least. We achieved an achievement. Okay, that was, that was very fumbly English. We achieved an achievement. Oh, these guys do one heart of damage a piece. That is nasty. All right, got turd snails though. Right as we get a heart drop, we immediately take damage. Super cool. Usually when I'm getting my melee on, I just like to just to wail on, you know? That feels pretty good. Oh, come on, game. If you're gonna give me things to destroy, at least give me something cool. All right. So we've got a locked door down here. Somebody was smoking the marijuanas. That's what that looks like. Oops. Okay. Maybe we switch to Sam. Maybe she's got a lower body profile for hitboxes. I don't know. Bombs. Cool. Don't really need those. Would love some health, though. A secret! And treasure. We're racking up that salt. We'll put it to good use eventually. There's a lot of things we want to upgrade. Okay, looks like that's on a bit of a timer. In and out. Boop. See ya. I do love that sound though. I don't know how long you really need to charge Sam's... Uh... Whatever you call it. No, no. This seems like this is a bomb slap situation. Boop. Oh boy, I wasted a bomb. Okay, that was stupid. All right, so here, here's how you successfully do that. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, <laughs> we're doing great. Oh no, viewers. Place bomb. Wind up, switch to Sam, and don't make it. Great. Oh, game. You gotta be like on the move. For another key. I don't know if anybody ever remembers the movie which has a horrible name, but uh, the Indian in the cupboard, which is probably wildly outdated in terms of vernacular by this point. But uh, I feel like that game probably had some sort of like the VHS tape for those of you who knows who know what that is. Video home cassette or v video home. I don't know what VHS stands for. Um, but the actual like thing that you held the tape in, the, the container, I remember that having like a little key that came with it. You could unlock your movie. How cool is that viewers? Don't you love unlocking movies? Nowadays, unlocking movies is based around buying the streaming service. Oh, okay. So we've got a bit of a puzzle here. We can't go that way. So that un that opens the top one. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. And this will spin the bottom. We want to go that direction, of course. Uh, does that work? Boop, 
just gonna sneak right past you. This looks like a hidden thing. Nope, why would it be? All right, I think Sam can take these down, maybe? Are these bombable? Yes, okay. I said that very strangely. Yes. I would love to get more hearts, so I don't have to eat my hot dog. I don't want to prematurely eat my, my wiener. Okay. Very finicky. Yeah, I don't care for this. That's not, that's not fun to me. This just feels like padding, honestly. Racking up these keys though. I do like that they have you use them after you get them though. It would be very annoying if you were acquiring these keys like Zelda and you have to hold on to them for a while. I mean, I guarantee that does actually happen. I think later in the game it does. Leave it to great game design. All right. So now we need to turn this boy. Zoop. Okay. What a tricky, tricky puzzle. Moving on. Hope I haven't missed anything because I am not going back for it. And I also like how it says bombs replenish, but you get one. Ooh, have we shown these yet? All right, so these are glow shrooms. Official name, no idea. There's a lot of eight, ooh, what hit me? Turd snail. There's eggs in here. Spawns of these horrible creatures. But if you use Sam, you can tell. Okay, we're not. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, it would help if I was able to be the person who can do damage. There's a lot of these boys. Whoa. Gotta take care of the spawn here. No more life for you. This is a little spooky, huh? There's a lot of button presses you gotta do in these games that sometimes I don't always remember. Okay. And I think that the baddies can only come out of the unbroken eggs, maybe? Yeah, that looks right. Ooh, we got a... Oh, these are the, um, the whatever things. That's good words, right? The whatever things. The pot crabs, or whatever they're called. Potluck crabs. Just love a good picnic. There's a lot going on right here. This is this is a lot. Does any of this amount to things that are good for me? Because if not, I don't care. I mean, I do want the hearts. Anything? Hello? Hello? There's one over there. It looks like a secret. I'm not super worried about it. There will be things in this Let's Play that I miss. And that's just the way the mushroom glows. All right. Are these like the pot crabs? Because these ones don't have any... Doesn't have a pot on it. That did a lot of damage to me. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I don't like that. Mushrooms, great! Just what I needed. Okay. Where else can I go? Yeah, the, the gloves are still on for now. The dungeon kit gloves. Okay. More hearts would be wonderful. You wouldn't find me complaining about that, but this room at least is lit. AF. How far away can I shoot this? Boop. There we go. Neat. So Sam's got some range on her, on her goo shooter. I like that. Not required, of course, but 
but it does make me feel a little better. Surprise! All right, so that's a heart piece, basically. One more of those to increase our hearts, which would be, you know, wonderful considering how easily I take damage. You've seen me play, you know I'm reckless. I'm trying not to be, but it's just really tempting, especially when you find onions underground. Oh, uh, okay, I get it. Whoop. You thought you had me fooled, game. Wrong. Little delayed door puzzle. I'm on to you. Oh, did we make it? Oh, no. Sam's had too many shrooms. Her strawberry. Strawberry Sam is back. I'm getting spicy. It's <laughs> supposed to be her yelling. Uh, Sam? Did you just... Oh, boy. That's not good. I think you just got yourself locked in there, kiddo. Oh, no. The power's out. Oh, Sam. What have you done? Well, welcome to this. Splitting up puzzles, hooray! This actually is pretty neat. And they do it in a different way. Oh, <laughs> just uh, go ahead and get John scalded by this team. How are you supposed to know though? Uh. Have John stand back here so we don't get him burnt again. There's not really a total, a lot of like screen real estate that you can see. Okay. Does one quick turn of all three make them lateral? You can see that they've got like the little 8 bit representation of the other character to show you where they are off screen. I think that's a nice touch. But it does look there might be something here. A treasure! All right, what do we get? Gear part? You definitely want to collect those. Useful. Okay. Now, Sam can't knock any of that stuff down, so she just kind of has to maneuver through. This is obviously giving you a very light taste of the back and forth that you will be doing eventually. This gets pretty substantial. Um, can I blow these up? No. I think it wants me to take it down here. Can I drag this down the stairs? Or wait, no, 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 I know what it wants me to do. You thought you had me game wrong. Push this boy right there. Haha! There we go. Little pathway for Sam. And then John can meet her up top. The 8 bit thing of Sam is great. All right. So we got a little bit more to do. Yeah, the little the little avatar of Sam is pretty good. Let's go ahead and just clear the way for when Sam does eventually join us. Get rid of all these boys. Okay. Now we've got some explodies here, which is great that we have Sam next to it. You know, just classic wasting a bomb as you do. That was a tutorial, of course. Perfect, that should be enough. And these look like these are timed steam puzzles, not bad. 
There we go. Somehow that turns all of them off at the same time. I don't know. All right. So far, so good. Are we hanging in there, viewers? You doing all right? Is this really testing your brain? How do I do this? How is Dean like solving these crazy puzzles? Good question. Only an elite pro gamer could be doing something like that. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, those things regenerate. I didn't know that. Them snacks. Okay. Here we go. So you're basically just gonna take turns door door opening for each other. Very courteous, chivalry. Clearly not dead. There's something very cathartic about destroying whatever those are supposed to be. I don't know. And you're gonna need Sam to clear the way for you here. Use your goo bubbles. Boop. There you go. I'm not sure what plane we're on in terms of movement, but I guess that's close enough to get Sam attacked. Cool. I thought I moved enough. I guess I didn't. Yeah, the design of the enemies in this game are, are great. I'm not entirely sure what they're supposed to be, but I'm sure if I saw like concept art, it would make sense. I would have to assume there is some sort of a goodie up here. Is there a bonus? There is more treasure. Another good part. Yes, those are good. Make sure you take your time and explore. I will give them credit. As annoying as some of the writing is in this game, the people who designed the levels did a nice job. So some of the levels. Let's not get a big head or anything, okay? Nope. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, Sam and John have independently different ways of dispatching enemies. Sort of. Sam can't technically do that, but John can. And of course, there's a child-sized tunnel to exit the area. Very convenient. Ooh, this looks nasty. You're just nasty. Just hammer away on that Y button. Why, 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 why? John dispatches four of them and then Sam can stun. Boop, boop, boop. It is pretty cathartic actually to do that. All right. Just gotta time it out. Ooh, I was pretty convinced that I had triggered the hitbox. I did not though, because I'm amazing. Get Sam first this time. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> that was not really how I intended to do that, but it worked. And just the whackathon here. No, this feels good. All right. Get Sam right by the door. We're reunited and it feels so good. We did it. John, she's from Philadelphia. John, you're such a John. All right, that feels like a lot of good progress. So I think I'm gonna stop here and we'll continue next time, whenever that is, for more Eastward. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike, this has been Eastward and I'll see you next time. Bye.